Yo! What is up guys, Adrian Nickelodeon coming at you from Sydney, Australia and today we're going to be unboxing one of the most tactical and stealth looking motorcycle jackets available on the market today. everyone's having a great day. I'm going to try and get into this as quickly as possible because I know that everyone's time is, come on, precious. So this here, this here is the Engine Hawk unboxing experience. There's a discount code down in the description below if you want to copy your own Engine Hawk jackets. Engine Hawk was born to revolutionize the motorcycle industry and completely redefine what motorcycle apparel can be. Welcome to Engine Hawk. Here it is, this is going to be the second jacket that Engine Hawk has sent me to show you guys here on the channel. First one was the knucklehead jacket. You guys would have seen that in a couple of videos over the past couple of months. And I've had my eye on this. This right here is the Raptor jacket. There aren't many reviews out there at the moment. I feel like this is going to be their flagship jacket. Like I said, it's tactical, it's stealth, it's stylish. It's everything you want in an undercover motorcycle jacket. And yeah, I'm really proud to be affiliated with these guys so I can show you guys what they have to offer. Ooh, here we go guys, let's get into it. So for anyone that doesn't know, Engine Hawk make motorcycle apparel for riders that don't want to look like they're wearing motorcycle apparel. All the traditional PPE, standard motorcycle jackets that are big and bulky and have crazy armor in the shoulders and elbows that stick out and protrude like no man's business. This here is the type of armor that they use in the jackets. It's called Sastec. This is their triple flex armor. It's got a 0.9 centimeter profile. It's very thin, made in Germany. I don't know anything that comes out of Germany that isn't quality. This side here faces the skin or the body. And this side here that has this abrasion resistant sort of material on the back faces the outside of the jacket. This material here also stops the armor from splitting in the event of a high impact. This stuff is pretty revolutionary in my opinion. I mean, gone to the days where you need some big bulky and hard ABS plastic shoulder pads and elbow pads inside an already bulky leather jacket. They've come up with this here. Look at this stuff. I'll just show you how flexible this stuff is. Look at this. Right, so it's got a neutral flexibility profile, so it sits with the jacket and falls as the jacket would fall. You'll, you'll see it soon, guys. I'll pull the jacket out and you won't even know that there's armor in there. So anyway, this is the back protector. We're definitely gonna throw this into the jacket. But yeah, okay, Sastec armor, let's put that aside. We're gonna talk about the, well, we're gonna talk about this soft bag from Engine Hawk. This is the second one that I've got now. First one that they sent me, you can fit a shoebox in here. So if you head down to the post office and pick up packages and stuff like that, you've got ample room to fit at least a shoebox in here, plus a little bit of extra stuff on the top. Pretty cool, this is stupid, this is like, this is dumb good quality. I mean, look at the draw cords, right? The draw cords has this yellow flecking in here, which is the Engine Hawk branding, black and yellow. It's reversible, so we've got Engine Hawk on the back here, or if you flip it around, we've got the Engine Hawk logo, which is an eagle head and some exhaust pipes. Sort of like the MV Augusta exhausts. Engine Hawk branding on the little eyelets here on both sides. Tiny little details like that, man. That just really sets this brand apart from anything else that I've seen out there, especially especially like a new entry player in the market. You don't see this sort of stuff. So for anyone that doesn't know, Engine Hawk is a sister company of Rurock. Rurock, obviously, they produce the Atlas helmets. This year is the 2.0 Atlas. Amazing helmet. I actually just did an unboxing of their newest flagship helmet, which is the Atlas 3.0. I'll link that down in the description below if you haven't seen it. Sick gear, amazing products a company that really listens to and cares about motorcycle riders safety and like I said in my unboxing video for the Atlas 3 helmet I think Rurock are a company that really have their finger on the pulse and really know what's going on in the motorcycle industry and I feel like their tech that they've got in their helmets especially let alone what they've got in their jackets is the current benchmark for motorcycle protection so I think there's a fair few brands out there that could learn a thing or two from Rurock and Engine Hawk. So anyway, let's get into this unboxing of the Engine Hawk Raptor jacket. I'm so keen for this, guys. 
Wowee. So this is the unboxing experience. Just make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope. This is the unboxing experience for all of your Engine Hawk jackets. Look at that. Let's just get this box closed. And we'll use it as a bit of a pedestal. Here it is guys, the Engine Hawk Raptor jacket. I haven't unwrapped it yet. I haven't unwrapped the Raptor yet. Just before we get into it, the material on this jacket, AAA rated, abrasion and tear resistant, just in case you go for a skid down the road. We've got a heavily dense soft shell with woven spandex for stretch. And then on the inside bonded with microfiber for maximum comfort. We've also got a liner on the inside here for breathability. We've got pig nose draw cords here on the hood and branded, oh wow, branded, Eyelets. Again, guys, attention to detail. Oh, <laughs> so we've got some yellow paint on this side. So we've got stealth branding on this side. It's black embossed. And then we've got another black embossed one here. And we've got some yellow Engine Hawk branding on this eyelet just here. Guys, attention to detail is so sick on these jackets. We've got some 3D logoing here. Another 3D logo here. Let's open this thing up. This has the armor in it already, guys, mind you. So here it is. This is the Engine Hawk Raptor jacket. Stealth, tactical, already got the armor in there. I can feel it right there. 0.9 of a centimeter thick in the elbow. Shoulder armor's already in there. Back protectors over there. We'll throw that into the jacket in a sec. Let's do a quick tour around the jacket and see what sort of logos they've got on the jacket. We've got an EH here on the left pec, Engine Hawk. Over here on the left cuff, we've got the Engine Hawk Eagle Head and Motorcycle Exhaust logo. That's pretty cool. On the back side here, we've got a zip and we've got some vented mesh here on the cuff to let some extra airflow in on hot days or during summer. You can leave that open. Also, I heard these zips. Yeah, check that out. These zips are lockable. Lockable zips, they only come undone if you pull on this tab outwards and they won't come undone in the event of a crash. They won't peel open them. Same thing on the front of the jacket. Lockable zips, they won't peel open and come undone in the event of a crash and burst open and expose you to the road. Pretty sick, never seen anything like that before on anything, any, any apparel, any garments I've ever worn, any PPE, any jacket, I've never seen anything like that before. Like I said, pinnacle of technology, these guys are pumping into these jackets. I can't believe it. Now, obviously, if you've been following the story of Rurock, they've been extremely successful, especially over the past four years. I think their business has grown eight times. They've got plenty of money to dump into research and development. They crash test the shit out of their helmets and they no doubt put a mannequin inside these jackets and tow them behind their cars just to test their product and make sure it's safe for all of you guys. Some other things we've got going on here on the jacket is we have some pockets on the side here. Oh wow, they're really deep. Pocket goes all the way into the middle of the jacket. That's nice, fit plenty of stuff in there. Again, mesh on the inside of the pocket, hot summer day, open that up, ton of airflow heading through the jacket from your pockets on either side. That's pretty cool. But, 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 guys, I wanna show you guys this. I have never in my life seen anything so extreme in terms of pit zips. Look at this. Even on my like snowboarding jacket, I don't have anything like this. Huge pit zips underneath the armpits of this jacket. Again, increased airflow on hot, steamy summer days. You can set it to adjustable levels. So we've got fully open. You could half close it from the bottom. You could half close it from the top. You could have it only open in the middle there. Pretty easy to adjust. Even with gloved hands, they've got these little draw cords on them to make it easy to grab. Let's flip this bad boy over. We've got a Engine Hawk logo on the back of the hood here. Oh, what is that? Boys. Boys, 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 what is that? We have a little snap here on the back of the hoodie. This little snap here will make sure that the hoodie doesn't flap around when you're on the bike, heading down the highway or anything like that, keeps it in place. Pretty cool little design. I heard that they're going to replace this, however, with a magnet, but they're just making sure that they can legally do that because apparently it affects people with pacemakers especially if the ambulance service needs to shock them on the side of the road to get their heart started again. Apparently it needs to be six inches away from the heart or pacemaker. So can't make any promises right there. At the moment, it's a little pop button snap thing that they've installed on the jackets, but eventually they're hoping to replace that with a magnet. Here we've got the back profile of the jacket, stealth, stylish. They've also got these lines here on the back to make it look a little bit more athletic when you're wearing the jacket. And again, we have another shadowed out Engine Hawk logo just there on the left hand side. Pretty cool. Let's have a look at what's on the inside of the jacket. 
So I'm gonna open this up now. I've been following along on the engine hawk journey and the reason why they came up with this gear is because they noticed that there were a ton of riders riding around in North Face and sort of high fashion sort of jackets, hoodies without protection installed inside them. I mean, I'm guilty myself. I barely wear my leather jacket when I'm riding around here in Sydney. I mean, we get 300 days of blue skies and sunny days. Even in winter, it's not really that cold. So I usually, if I'm ducking out somewhere quick, I'll just chuck a hoodie like this on. This is their this is, the, this is an actual Engine Hawk hoodie. Pretty sick bullet draw cords. The same sort of styling on the, on the buttons that's embossed on the, uh, not the buttons, on the eyelets. I mean, this thing is sick. I'll just chuck this on and go for a quick ride and not really think about it. But now we can go out, we can still look like we're wearing casual jackets. We can go to the movies or the cinema, go out to dinner, take our motorcycle gear with us and not have to worry about lugging around something big and heavy and bulky and not really natural looking. They saw that there was a need in the market for something like this and they pulled the trigger and now we have the Engine Hawk range of jackets. They've got a full range, guys. I've got a discount code down in the description below. If you want to cop yourself a sweet little discount, there's some links down there as well, so you can check out the whole range of jackets. But let's get into this unveiling of the... Uh-oh, technical difficulty. What happened down the bottom here? Oh, sorry, my bad. That was user error. <laughs> whoa, 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 we were. We've got a user manual here. I'm just gonna unclip that because it's pretty cool. So that's just a sizing card. We've got a user manual in here. It tells you about the jacket, tells you all the details, all the little specifications, how to install the armor, how to remove the armor. Fully machine washable. If you take all of the armor out of the jacket, flip it inside out, you can chuck it into the washing machine and get it washed just like a regular garment. This here is a little keychain for your keys on your bike. Not a stupidly long lanyard, so you don't have it flapping around in your face. Pretty cool little addition for them to add into the uh, into the package. Again, guys, attention to detail. They've got a motorcycle chain here at the back of the jacket so you can hang it up like. Why? Just because it's dope, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Engine Hawk branding on the inside of the jacket. Again, we've got this woven textured material for increased airflow through the jacket. We've got a huge, wow, that really is a huge pocket. What is that for? That's massive. What would you chuck in there? I don't have no idea of what you would throw in there. So we've got two huge pockets. We've got a name card over here. Some cute little, like just little attention to detail again, guys. Some little dots here, sort of like braille, but not raised, just to further promote the Engine Hawk brand. We've got these little loops here. This is for the internal lining if you wanna put a liner inside of the jacket. They sell the liner separately. I usually don't rock my jackets with a liner, so I'm not gonna even bother like chasing one up. They've also got a security pocket over here where you can chuck your phone. Pretty big, definitely be able to fit. I can fit my whole hand in there. That's a pretty big pocket. And again, they've got these little toggles on here so you can open it with a gloved hand, nice and easy. So boys, let's get the back armor into this jacket and I'll show you how easy it is to install. Just open up the Velcro tab at the back there, grab the armor. This side here is going to be facing the outside of the jacket. This is gonna be facing the rider and it's as simple as just sliding it in. And I'm sure you're not even gonna see this when the jacket's on. Super low profile, again, it's extremely flexible, so it falls with the natural fall of the jacket. So everything looks natural while you're wearing the jacket. Just noticed as well, just down here on the bottom, they've also got more of those pig nose clips and another draw cord. So you can cinch up the bottom of the jacket if you don't want any wind coming in from underneath. Man, oh man, we are powering through this review video right now. I actually want to chuck this thing on and see what it looks like. Let's do that right now. Boom, here it is, boys. Check it out. Engine Hawk logo here on the inside of the arm. Again, the Engine Hawk Hawk head and exhaust on the outside here. I'll just do it up real quick. A little bit hard to do with this mask on. Oh, wowee. Oh, wait, hold on. This goes all the way up. I'm trying not to get my beard caught in there. That's sick. Look at that. Protection all the way up the front of the jacket. Stop wind from hitting you in the neck while you're riding. That's sick. Let me just undo that a little bit so I can free the beard. <laughs> yeah, perfect size, fits nice. Arms fall in the right place when I'm in the riding position. Feels comfortable, sick range of movement. This is nice, this is nice. I can't even feel, I mean, I can feel the elbow armor if I go to feel it, but 
if I flex my arms, I can feel the jacket bunching up here more than I can feel the armor here. Can't feel the shoulder armor at all. Can't feel the back armor at all. I'll try and spin around. I've got a little microphone here. So let's just grab that and do a little bit of a twirl. That's the back of the jacket. Can we get the hood on? Do we need to undo the snap? There we go. Hood's on on the back. If I stretch the jacket, you should be able to see the back armor. It's right there. Nice little stretch, but otherwise, man, this thing fits nice, feels nice. Let's get hands into the pocket. I feel like I'm a security guard or a bouncer at one of the Sydney clubs letting people in or not letting people in because that's what they usually do. Silica gel, I dig it. I can't wait to show you guys this on the bike and give you guys a full review. Probably in about a month's time. Obviously I need a little bit of time to ride in this thing and find out if it's got any issues, find out what the airflow is really like on the bike. But this is it right here guys. This is the Engine Hawk Raptor jacket. This is a slight variation of the Predator jacket, which is a half zip jacket. So the zip only comes down the front here and you need to it's sort of like a pullover, you need to throw it over your head. And I think the Predator jacket also has some leather Chesterfield looking shoulder pads on it. And also on the back on the bottom, which I don't really like. I sort of I sort of really enjoy the stealth look on a motorcycle. I think this looks tactical. It's like right there in my sweet spot. Flagship model of jacket. And apparently this jacket has popped off on the Engine Hawk website for good reason. It's friggin' sick. So good in fact that they're going to release some new colorways of this jacket. They're gonna release one called the Siren, which has red on the sides here and a red back panel. They're gonna release another one called the Blizzard, which is gonna again be blue on the sides here, blue on the back. The red one you could wear if you ride a Ducati or a Honda perhaps. The blue one you could wear if you ride something like a Yamaha. But take it from me guys, I bought my, my very, very, very first motorcycle jacket that I bought on the street was a blue Suomi leather jacket. I thought I was gonna get a blue bike. I ended up getting a red bike and never wore the jacket because it just didn't match. So I think black is probably the safest way to go for motorcycle gear because it transcends motorcycles. You can get different bikes throughout your riding career and still wear the same gear as you ride those different styles of bikes. I mean, pretty easy for me to say that. I ride a black motorcycle. My motorcycle before that was black. So I'm kind of the poster boy for saying get black motorcycle gear, but really it's up to you guys at the end of the day. Just one other thing, they're coming out with the second wave of engine hawk jackets not sure when they're coming out but apparently there's going to be some upgrades to the raptor jacket these logos here on the inside of the arm on the outside of the arm on the chest and on the back of the jacket are going to be sort of like a 3m ghosted out reflective sort of material so it'll shine bright when cars headlights hit you if they're traveling behind you or if you're going through an intersection you should light up like a christmas tree so improved safety i kind of wish i had it on this jacket i mean it sounds cool i'd love to see it in real life love to show that off to you those jackets haven't yet been released but that's what i've heard is in the pipeline for engine hawk that's it guys this is the engine hawk raptor unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed the experience with me can't wait to show you guys a little bit more about this jacket again there's a discount code down in the description below if you want to copy your own engine hawk jackets and we'll see you guys in the next video peace